the flashlight. It's your number one security tool. And I've said that a number of times in any time I've shown a video because I really believe that the flashlight can be your first defense. Guys, you're going to use a flashlight way more than you would ever use a firearm or a knife or anything else for that matter because the flashlight is inherently shining and illuminating an area. And studies have shown that light detours crime. We're going to talk specifically about the flashlight not necessarily being just a security tool, but being a defensive tool. And one of the reasons why I really wanted to bring this video to bear is because of the recent massacre that happened in Colorado at the movie theater where people, even concealed carry permit holders, were unable to carry their gun into this movie. Uh, and also, possibly not even being able to carry a knife or any kind of weapon. And a flashlight can be used as a defensive tool. And we're going to look at some of the features and some of the things that you can do with a flashlight where no other weapon is available. Now, I'm going to break this down into four categories. I do have five flashlights, but we're going to talk about four different categories of having a flashlight and some of the reasons that you would use this and how it would be a defensive tool. Uh, the first is EDC and really EDC is a small pocket sized flashlight. Something you're going to carry in your pocket, something small and that you just carry every day and that you really don't notice. Uh, I'm going to tell you, once you start carrying around a flashlight, you'll be amazed at how many times you use it and the advantages you get from having a flashlight. Now, this little small Olight, this is just a little micro OES-3. And, you know, the one thing about these new flashlights with the LED system is you've really got a lot of light put out from just a small package. Now, one of the things that I'm going to kind of discount this piece in particular, I mainly just wanted to have it as an example. This is not necessarily going to make much of a defensive tool. It's small, it's really tiny, uh, but it is an illuminator, it will shine light, it, will, it is a security tool, but yet it's not really good for what we're going to talk about. But I just wanted to kind of have it out. But the first thing I want to really address is a small flashlight that will give you some defensive capability. And one of the reasons why this really came into the forefront in the defensive community is because of the crenulated bezel. And that is this bezel right here. And if you can see, what it does, it has higher areas and low areas. High areas and low areas. Now this protects the lens. But not only does it protect the lens, it gives you some teeth to be able to put this into pressure points. And when I say pressure points, I'm talking about on the body. And if you've ever studied any martial arts, jiu-jitsu especially, and some of the other martial arts, your body has certain places that, if pressure is applied, can cause a lot of pain and can take an attacker out of the fight. So having some sort of small defensive tool, and this would be your EDC, having a crenulated bezel is really key in this factor because you're going to be able to bring this to bear, pull it out of your pocket, and be able to grab hold of it, and be able to use this to bring it down on a neck, down on your shoulder, uh, even into the head, and being able to use this, if nothing else, to distract an attacker and to have some advantage over just your hands. This will give you a really hard surface. The crenulated bezel is going to really apply a lot of pressure. Uh, you can even use the back, and as you can see, this one has these high ridges to guard your pressure pad, and so that's also going to be an advantage. And one of the things I want to talk about specifically is taking the advantage of available uh, tools that you have with you. You know, even if you have a pen, and I know ballistic pens have become pretty popular, uh, having some kind of tool to be able to not only uh, have some kind of defensive tool, some kind of defensive weapon, but also to have the mindset that, you know what, if this is all I've got, I need to use this to its best ability, and this could give me a, an advantage, even if a slight advantage, over an attacker. And this will apply pressure points. You can use it as an impact tool as well 
to bring it to bear on somebody and to be able to stop some sort of attack. Now the good thing is these are lightweight, they're very small in size, you can slip them down in your pocket. If you're stopped and checked for any kind of weapon, once they pull this flashlight out, this is not going to be an offensive tool. It's a very, I mean, it's just a flashlight. And so it's not necessarily going to be looked at as a weapon. And so that is one of the things that's really important to carry around something really small like this that could be used in case you can't carry a knife, in case you can't carry a firearm. Now next we're going to look at the tactical light. This is a little larger. Now some people will still carry this every day. And this little Olight M20X Warrior, excellent flashlight. It has the crenulated bezel, but one of the things I want to really point out is that this has the stainless steel crenulated bezel. So you're going beyond just the aluminum crenulated to a, an actual stainless steel weapon. And with this, this can definitely be used for pressure points, it can be used as leverage, and you can really use this as an impact tool. Uh, one of the things about this is the size and the length. And you're going to gain advantages the larger the flashlight, obviously. Uh, but then again, you're going to not necessarily be carrying this around in your pocket because it is a pretty decent sized flashlight. Whereas you might carry this every day. But there are a lot of people that carry holsters and you know may even fit this down into a cargo pocket where you know it may be a little less comfortable than the small flashlight, but you will have some advantages with this size. So size and weight will come into play uh, in a defensive role. That being said, it's still hand sized, it still can fit in your hand, and it can really be used. And then you have this ring, the tactical ring right here, to be able to carry it and use it for one hand operation. Uh, as you can see, the light is incredibly bright. You can blind an attacker and then come in and use it. Now one of the things about that too I want to talk about, a lot of times guys say, well, if you have a flashlight, you're just making yourself a target. You know, that is possible, but really having illumination could really save your life. You need to be prudent, though, whenever you use a flashlight. In the situation that you're in, whatever it is, you need to think about it. Of course, one of the things I really like about a small tactical flashlight like this is it can also be used as a weapons-mounted light. But this one also, not only does it have a really strong, solid light, but it also has a strobe setting just by hitting this side button. And that is very disconcerting to an attacker or someone that would be messing with you. Next, we're going to talk about security. And this is the security light uh, that I consider a security light. Many law enforcement officers like to carry a little bit of a larger flashlight. And one of the reasons why that I'm going to use this as an example is because if you're up at night, if you get up and you hear a bump in the night and you want something a little larger, you're not really worried about concealing it. You, but this still can be used with one-handed operation. Not only can this be used, of course it has the crenulated bezel, so it can be used for pressure points, it can be used as an impact tool, it can be used as a bludgeon. And you can use this to come down on somebody's, if, uh, somebody's head or somebody's neck uh, if you're under attack. This makes an excellent defense tool. Now because it has the length, you're going to have more leverage, and because of the weight, you're going to have more impact. So this is an excellent security light. Uh, again, this is not something you're going to carry every day. You really wouldn't be able to walk into a movie theater necessarily with this comfortably, but it does have some great applications as a defensive tool. This also has your strobe features. It has your regular bright, very bright light. And uh, in an outside situation where you really need to get a, a really long throw, you're able to get out there and to see what's around you. Of course, if you're having to go outside and check around your property, uh, having a good flashlight can deter would-be attackers, would-be robbers. And then we go from security to a searchlight or a spotlight. And having a really high-powered flashlight to be able to really light up an area be able to really get a good throw can really be important. And if you're really searching for something, this is the light to have. This gives you a huge amount of light, but as you'll notice, it does have a crenulated bezel. It's really heavy. 
It can be used as a defensive tool. In fact, if I had my choice and I was in the fight, I would definitely want to have something like this. But this is not always convenient. Something like this is really dedicated to certain applications, just like these other lights. Each of them have their own application. I would really recommend, though, having a good searchlight around your house, around your property, to be able to see. Because, man, if you really need a lot of light, it's great to have access to it. One of the things I would suggest, too, is to study different body charts and where pressure points are on the body and how to apply them. Uh, I'm not necessarily going to show you all those things right here in this video. It's really more to get you to thinking about having a different set of lights in your arsenal. And it is a, somewhat of a, an arsenal. It is defensive in nature. And to be able to subdue an attacker, if you're in trouble, let's just say you're outside and you hear some noises or you need to go out and check on the dogs or something's going on and you don't really think there's any trouble. And so you have a nice large flashlight like this and then something happens, you are going to have something to fall back on. Really what got me to thinking about defensive flashlights in the first place was my C-Cell mag light. And years ago, I've had this flashlight for probably 20-something years. It's been a good flashlight. Uh, there are upgrades to make this LED, and Maglight has made quality flashlights for many years. In fact, this was the flashlight to have for many years. Now, they still make them, and they're very high quality. Some of these flashlights you see here can run $100 and more, uh, especially some of the big flashlights. But the technologies there, these are high-performance flashlights. They will outshine anything uh, that's inexpensive and cheap. These are really good solid flashlights. Uh, many of them can uh, are IPX8, which means they can be submerged under water for two meters or um, you know just over six, seven feet. So you have a lot of capability here. But if you're on a real strict budget and you're looking for a really good flashlight, please don't buy the real cheap four and five dollar flashlights. They're made cheaply. Uh, the electronics are not all that great and not all that durable. A good mag light, though, has a lot of capability. And a lot of police units still carry these in the field. One of my police buddies told me that he had one of these C-cell mag lights, and he loved it because it was just the right grip to where he could have it overhanded like this. And if he was being attacked by someone, he could come in and use this as a baton. And with the batteries, too, it really gives a lot of weight. And you club somebody with this thing, and they're going to know it. And so, you know, there are different options out there. Another nice little tactical option for a flashlight that's inexpensive is this Maglite. Uh, this is the XL50. It's an LED flashlight. It has a lot of great features. It even has strobe. And uh, they run about $30, $35. Great little flashlight, aluminum body. And again, Maglite makes a really high quality light. But this can also be used as an impact tool. It doesn't have a crenulated bezel, but it can still be used as an impact tool. It can't really be used too much as a baton. I don't think you have enough leverage or enough length. But it would definitely be suitable in this situation and even possibly uh, just a little shorter than this tactical light. But I really like these little lights. I have a couple of these that I keep around. Now this little Jetbeam 3M is one of my favorite tactical lights and I use this on one of my AR-15s and it has the pressure pad and, and all the accessories. But one of the things I really like about it, it has this stainless steel, it, it's not really a crenulated bezel even though it has notches, but what I really like is that this is removable, which all of the stainless steel crenulated bezels are removable. You can add the long finger crenulated bezel and this sucker is like crenulated on steroids. In fact, I've even heard where guys will sharpen the edges of this bezel to make this a serious defensive tool. So there are a lot of options out there, a lot of things you can do, but one of the things really, and the main reason I wanted to make this video is because I want to get you to think. You know what? If you have a flashlight in your pocket, it can be used as a defensive tool. It's going to give you somewhat of an advantage than just using your hands uh, not only just by blinding an attacker, but also by using this to come down to bear in whatever way that you need to use it. 
And while I'm not saying that having a decent little flashlight in your pocket when all heck breaks loose is going to really do a whole lot, it's better than nothing. And if you can't have a concealed carry, if you can't even have a knife, having a good flashlight is a very passive way to have something on you that can be used as a defensive tool. Now one thing also to consider when choosing a flashlight is your battery source, your power source. And these are typically the most common. Uh, of course you have your triple A's, you have your double A's. Uh, I do like the CR123's. They can be expensive and so because of that if you're using two of these you might as well use one of the 18650's because they are rechargeable. I personally like the 18650 for really my more high powered lights. For EDC, I really like AA because it's really easy to find, they're fairly inexpensive, and they do, with the new LED technology, they can put out a lot of light. But you're going to get a lot of light out of the lithium CR123s as well. In fact, they're going to give you a little extra power just because they're lithium ion, and so you just need to decide what choices you want to make before you find your flashlight. Of course, with the SR95 by Olight, this big searchlight, it is a rechargeable light. So I can hook that up to a charger, and I don't really have to worry about if my batteries are, are dead or not. But make sure you keep a good source of batteries around for your flashlights. And I would suggest definitely, if you're going to get the CR123s, you can order them by the box online, typically for around a buck a piece. So that makes it a little bit better. And they do last up to 10 years. Now one of the best sources for obtaining really good quality flashlights and having an incredible choice of many different makers and many different styles is Going Gear. And you guys know I'm good buddies with Marshall at GoingGear.com and they have 450 different type flashlights on their website. In fact, it's grown since then. So there are a lot of different options and of course you can use Such and your coupon code and get 10% off when you check out. So that makes it even sweeter and free shipping over $49.95. So if you're really looking to build a nice arsenal of flashlights for your defensive kit, check out Going Gear. I think you'll be very pleased. So guys, while you're out there, be safe. And if you're not able to carry a defensive tool with you, consider the flashlight. It can really give you some advantages over just your hands. Be strong. Be of good courage. God bless America. Long live the Republic. I think something like this in somebody's eye would stop about any attack. <laughs> I would carry it, and then if I needed to, I could bring it. And then if I needed to, I could bring this flash. Shoot, what hit?